if we're looking on this Chevy Chevy cab over when you're using your multimeter hopefully you can see my multimeter reading in the video but when you are using a multimeter and you're looking for your signals I already know that this white with a red stripe is an ignition the uh, black here with a white stripe I tested it it's constant 12 volt I've got my multimeter grounded right here with an alligator clip so when I use my uh, my lead to connect to that wire we get constant 12 volt now I just want to show you know it's not a bad idea I'm going to take my other hand go to the ignition over here start it it's not a bad idea to verify that that constant maintains power all through the ignition cycle in every ignition state okay but now I want to focus on the other two so this this wire here, this red with a blue stripe, is an accessory circuit. I'm sorry, it's not an accessory circuit. It's actually a fake ignition. Let me show what that means. So notice when I crank, the voltage is gonna drop to zero volts. So it's a, it acts like an ignition. One click forward is accessory. This is like when the radio would come on. The key is one click forward. Second click forward is ignition. It gives me ignition, but when I crank it, it drops to zero, watch, crank drops to zero volts jumps back up to 13 so that is not a true ignition it's a fake ignition or a simulated ignition whatever you want to call it whereas this white wire with the red stripe is testing as a true ignition let me show the difference so key is off key is in accessory key is in ignition we get 12 volts during crank it's going to drop to nine and then come back up to like okay it dropped to ten and a half ish and then came back up to 14. Okay, so this wire is a true ignition. So don't connect your telematics accessories to a fake ignition, connect it to a true ignition um, so that you don't get unnecessary duplicate engine cycle events.